Hi, this is Stella Payton from Better Life, and today I'm enjoying an afternoon on the patio. There's a slight breeze in the air, the wind chimes are going, and it's just beautiful. This is joy. I wanted to give you an overview of something we have been studying inside my group called the Kyle Circle. For the past several weeks, we've been doing an online class called Renewing the Six Faculties of Your Mind. So in these next brief segments, we're going to give an overview of what that class has been about and how you can just get a snippet of some of the teachings. Now, if you would like access to the online course after the training ends, Stay tuned. We'll give you information about how to access those videos and how you can still be a part of this amazing life-changing course. Now, renewing the six faculties of the mind is based on a scripture that says, be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may prove what is that good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. Well, that passage, when many people have read it and studied it in the past, doesn't explain that the human mind has six different faculties. Let's review what those faculties are. The first human faculty is the faculty of imagination. That is the capacity to get images and snapshots of things that don't currently exist. It allows us to take a subsequent small snapshot of something that has already happened and then our imagination can then build bones and muscle and tissue and organs around the body of that idea. The imagination also takes those concepts that have never been created, they've never been released in the earth and allows us to capture an idea from a different realm and bring it into the natural. That's how inventions take place. That's what Einstein did with the light bulb. That's what Steve Jobs did with the Apple computer. All of these ideas are born in another realm, but through our imagination, we can bring them into the natural. One of the components of scriptures talks greatly about how to guard and protect our imagination. Now, we frequently focus on the negative aspects of the imagination, but we don't focus on helping people understand that your imagination is a powerful and a positive gift that God has given you and I to create the world that He saw when He thought about us. You and I were once only a figment of God's imagination. Ultimately, He decided to bring us into the natural, to let us manifest. So whatever we focus on, whatever you give your imagination to, remember, that thing, the spirit of it, will come and live in you. So the imagination is the faculty of mind that allows us to see things that don't exist. Scripture describes one person who did this, um, who followed this rule with great accuracy, where it said Abraham spoke of things that were not as though they were. In other words, Abraham allowed the components of his imagination to formulate images and to see an existence, to see possession of a child that God said he would have. So that's it for today. So this brief segment on uh, the six-part lesson we're doing called Renewing the Six Faculties of Your Mind. Oh, isn't that beautiful? So in the next segment, we will review each of the faculties helping you understand. Now, if you would like to participate in the online class, it's still ongoing, but you'd like to catch the last four weeks of that class, make sure you connect with us on Facebook. Make sure that you email me through our website here and uh, make sure that you contact us through our YouTube channel message or website. You'll get the details on how you too can participate with the remaining class, Renewing the Six Faculties of Your Mind. Until we meet next time, you make it a terrific day. Bye-bye.